Hello, hello. Here we have another Half-Life question. And um, we know that 412 ounces of a certain non-edible substance were stored in your fridge. After 79 days, only 30 ounces of the same substance were left. What is the half-life of the substance? So, first things first, we want to solve for big T, which represents the half-life. Little t is time, which in this case is 79 days. So the 79 will replace the little t. And um, this A0 is the initial substance, or sorry, the initial quantity of the substance, which is 412. The final amount, 30 ounces, is the this A right here on the other side of the equation. So I have 30 is equal to 412 times half to the power of 79 over big T. Okay? So we want to solve for big T. So my first step will be to divide both sides of the equation by 412. So those cancel out, so I get 30 over 412. I won't reduce this right now, I guess I'll just leave it like that. And look at that, so we have 79 over big T. I want to solve for big T. And how can I do that? My only choice here, my only realistic choice, will be to take the logarithm of both sides of the equation. So I have log of 30 over 412 is equal to the log of half to the power of 79 over t. Now that I did this, it's a properly, sorry, not properly, proper t, property of logarithms, for me to bring down the exponent and multiply it by the log. So I can rewrite this as 79 over t times the log of half. Fantastic. The other side remains the same. It's just chilling and waiting. Great. Now what do I do? Well, I want to isolate this. I want to solve for that. So I'll multiply both sides of the equation by t. So they cancel out. So I'm left with t times the log of 30 over 412 equals 79 log half. Now what can I do? I'm just going to rewrite everything here. And I'm running out of room, like always. So 79 log half. Now, how can I solve for t? I can essentially just divide both sides of the equation by log 30 over 412. So they cancel out. And then we have isolated t, which, is, which represents the half-life of the substance that we were looking for. So I need to plug this into the calculator. And that's a half, by the way. Doesn't look like a very convincing five. Even worse, I guess, now. <laughs> okay, so give me a second, because I need to use my calculator. So 79 times log of half, divided by log of 30 over 412, is 20.9. So the half-life of the substance is around 20.9 days. That's it.